Car number 232436, 2008 Saab 93 convertible. So we'll do a walk around here. Uh, rear left damage here. You can see clearly where the impact happens or happened. Uh, red with black top. Pretty sharp looking car in general. Again, two liter turbo. Because it's a 2008, it's got this revised front end and uh, tail lights here. So we're going to lower our hood. And we're going to get in and uh, do our systems check here. So um, there is our options for this Saab and our VIN number. And so we'll see what we've got here. Well, it looks like we're going to need to move our jump pack a little bit. I don't see any of our stuff lighting up here. So let's uh, see what we can do. Quite tight enough. Here, everything turning on inside the car now. So, airbag deployment on this driver's side seat. Okay, looks like 198,000 miles. There we go. So, not very many of them have the navigation system in them. So we'll do is we'll start and we'll see if we can drive first. I know this does run and drive, so a lot of errors because of the accident. So but we'll put it in reverse here. Let's see if we can clear some of these. And obviously we're driving at this stage. So we don't get a lot of room in the shop here, so but what we will do is go backwards and forwards. aside from tires rubbing in the back there. So good stuff there. We're gonna power it off, power it back on. Let's see what works. Stereo is working. Again, it's not very often we see these come in with the nav. Um, We'll see if it even has the nav disc in it. A lot of times those are missing. So we'll see here. Uh, it actually does have the nav disc, so, so we'll sell this complete with the nav disc in it. Let's see if it, I don't know if we're supposed to put that back or if it's supposed to go back on its own. So. We'll have to test that. It doesn't seem to want to... Oh, no. Here we go. So, um, while it's doing that, let's go through some of these other systems here. Climate control seems to be working. We're going to try to take it off a of bottle, but I don't think I can for some reason. Maybe I need to turn these on. There we go. Um, let's turn our blower up. That's working. Let's see if it switches over to defrost. It is. So that's working fine. We'll turn that off for now. I actually turn our stereo off. Doesn't look like it's finding that nav disc. We're gonna try the top. Oh, it doesn't like it because the battery's low. Let me see if, if I can start it again. And we'll see if it will allow us to go. So in the meantime, um, again, here's our headlights. Our headlights are working. So oh, our brights are working. Try our windows here, driver's side, front window is going down, our quarter window is operational, passenger side quarter window going down, going up with passenger side window on that, or on the front window, lock.
shock actuators, those are always kind of weird on sobs. They love to kind of do this bounce back when they've been powered back up. So, looks like that's all working. Let's try our roof again. Looks like our tonneau is opening back there, but I did forget that our our uh, the safety deployment um, did go out. So, but it looks like our top systems are good. I don't see any evidence of leaking. Typically, you'll see that on the corners here or on the edges. So that's working. Um, what else can we test here? Wipers are working. Sprayers are working. Oh, there's our turn, turn signal. There we go. It's interesting to not see it on the other side there. It's got to shut off. Um, this does have an intact cup holder. That's another rare item on these sobs. Um, let's see if we've got power seats, I think, in this model. So, seat goes forward, seat goes back. Tilt motors are working. Let's try this side here. Um, manual seat on the passenger side, so nothing to test there. Um, so, again, car number 232436 is a 2008 Saab 93. Parts available on our website, www.playgroundpar.com or our eBay store, Playground Par.